Well, one of the things that you can do, oh wow, that's going to come in all kinds of slow, is use the formula to help you figure out the formula mass of a compound. And the formula mass is just going to be the mass of one unit of a compound. Now that unit could be an actual formula unit with, a co or with an ionic compound, or it could be the mass of one molecule of a covalent compound. Um, and then we'll talk about the, the similarities between formula mass and molar mass. They are numerically the exact same. The only difference is, is their units. Formula mass is measured in atomic mass units, and molar mass is measured in grams. It's actually grams per mole. Those are the units on that. And I know that you guys are like, ooh, what's a mole? Well, just go with me. You'll learn what a mole is in a little bit. You can also calculate something called percent composition, which is going to be in a separate video. Um, but that's just taking a compound and figuring out what percentage of that compound is a specific element. So this video is all about how do you find the formula or molar mass of a compound. So I'm going to start by talking about the formula mass. And that, all you have to do is take the sum of the atomic mass of all the elements in a compound. It's really simple. All you need is your periodic table and maybe a calculator if you're calculating a big one. Uh, so for example, if you have water, this is my cute little picture of water, gotta love it. Um, oxygen on the periodic table has a mass of 16 AMUs. It's really like 15.9994, but for the purposes of my class, I typically round a atomic mass, a molar mass, to two decimal places, and if you round 15.9994, to two decimal places, well, one, two, round according to that guy, oxygen's just 16. And then hydrogen has a mass of like 1.00794. Well, that rounded to two decimal places is just 1.01. .01. So to find the mass of water, you take the mass of oxygen, you take two times the mass of hydrogen, and you add them up, and you get 18.02 AMUs. Now, molar mass, numerically, it is exactly the same as formula mass, and you find it the exact same way. It's just that instead of the units being AMUs, the units are grams per mole. And the nice thing about molar mass, and we'll use this in the future, is that molar mass can be used actually as a conversion factor between moles of a compound and the mass of a compound. And we will use this so much in the future, just you wait. Uh, so let's say, okay, we know that each mole of water, we figured this out on the last slide, has a mass of 18.02 grams. Well, how much mass would two moles of water be? And hopefully you can look at this and go, well, if one mole is 18, then two mole has to be 36.04 grams. And if you can do that, you can do molar conversions. So let's do a little bit of practice. Determine the formula or molar mass of the following compounds. So starting with sodium chloride, and I would suggest pausing this video, working each of these out, and then hitting play and making, just kind of checking your work. I'm just gonna work right through them. So sodium chloride, ionic compound, salt, yummy stuff. And sodium, according to the periodic table, has a molar mass of 22.9898. We're just going to say 22.99. Add to that the mass of chlorine, which is 35.45. And the units on both of these, depending if you're doing formula mass, they're AMUs. If you're doing molar mass, then it's grams per mole. And since we only have one of each, we're just simply going to add these up and get 54. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. 50. Wow, I'm just like having a straight up brain fart. 58.44, really, really sorry. 58.44, and if this was formula mass, then the units are gonna be AMUs, or if it's molar mass, then the units are going to be grams per mole. Now for CO2, carbon has a mass of 12.01, plus we have two oxygen, so we're going to take two times the 16.00, the mass of each oxygen, and this works out to 44.01 grams per mole, or AMUs. Now C6H12O6, hopefully you remember this from your biology class, and you remember that this is the compound, the chemical formula for 
glucose. And to figure out this molar mass, we're going to take 6 times the mass of carbon, which is 12.01, plus 12 times the mass of hydrogen, 1.01, .01, plus 6 times the mass of oxygen, which is 16. And this whole thing works out to 180.18 grams per mole.